Hello, this is Andy once again from Attack of the Killer Podcast with another video update. Once again, I'd like to thank our Patreon supporters because the more awesome you are, the more awesome we get. Or some other way I always say it. Whatever. Anyway, moving on. Right now I'd like to talk about a recent promotional gift that I got. And it deals with <clears throat> the 2003 version of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Now, in this setup, they got original, um, this came with the face place, which, which was kind of cool. This, this set came out in 04. Now, they came out with this evidence envelope, and it had various photos of the crime scene, intakes, like, yeah, there's the saw. And then you had the evidence. Well, I stumbled across some promotional materials back when this movie came out. Now this, and it was called the evidence bag, which is very similar to what, similar to what you got in the DVD release. Now, I, on, upon my research, I found out that this evidence bag was, it's kind of like a press kit. It was only given out during the premiere at certain theaters. Um, I'm not entirely sure how scarce it is, but it's got a lot of cool items in it. So, let's get started. This is the first time I've actually seen this, so this is kind of cool. As you can see, there's the big evidence bag there. Kind of, It's very similar to the sticker that was on the envelope. Let's dig in. Oh, see, got a small uh, makeup of the poster there. Yeah, it's a little bent up, but it's in a bag, so I'm not too particularly perturbed about that. Okay, let's see here. You have a evidence tag. There's a description of evidence. It's a meat hook, but I don't think there's a meat hook in there, which I don't think it came with one. Uh, type of offense, homicide, suspect, Thomas Hewitt, which... Is Leatherface. Um, victim. Andy. Uh, location. Furnished room of the Hewitt home. How obtained. Carefully. Which is hilarious. That's very cool. That's our evidence tag. Oh, yeah. Now, this is a really cool picture that I really like. Um... In the film, their uh, interpretation of Leatherface is that he had uh, skin cancers on his face as a child, and that's what makes him cut off other people's faces and wear them, you know, because he hides his affliction. This appears to be what uh, Leatherface looked like when he was a kid before the cancers took over. I don't know, he might, have, he might have been crazy then. I don't know. That's a cool picture, I like that. <laughs> well, I'm not entirely, I don't want to open this, but this appears to be uh, salt because I'm assuming that uh, preserves all the uh, faces that he wears. I don't know. I don't know what's in there. It could be like spam. I don't know. Weird. Okay, what else we got? Oh, yes. Here's the money shot of the whole bag for me. To me. This is a replica of the bracelet that Eric Balfour wears in the movie. Because his character's name is Kemper. Very cool. That's awesome. I like that. Got some more photos here, and what appears to be, uh, says evidence on here, this is, looks like a hair and blood sample, and a, I think that's called a Petri dish, all right? It's not a glass one, but, 
And a couple of more photos, which I'm assuming are victims. And I believe this photo is uh, of the first girl that is the, the hitchhiker in this version of the film. The one that actually shoots herself in the back of the van and just causes... It's like the catalyst of the whole movie where our heroes get into a lot of trouble. So, that is my 2003 Texas Chainsaw Massacre press kit evidence bag. And I'm very happy with it. Thanks again. Bye.